hello everyone now in this video lecture we are learning the floyd washes algorithm what the floyd washes algorithm is the washes algorithm is an algorithm for finding the shortest path between all pairs of vertices in a weighted graph so if we want to find out the shortest path of a given graph we may apply the washes algorithm how this algorithm works this algorithm works for both directed and undirected weighted graph the prerequisite for this is the weight must be given for the particular graph based on that weighted values we will be finding the shortest path between vertices given in a graph this algorithm follows a dynamic programming approach to find the shortest path how the algorithm works let us consider one example here we are having a graph having four vertices 1 2 3 4 it's a directed graph showing the edges from one vertex to other with the direction and it is a weighted graph shows the weight on every edge so to learn how the washes algorithm works we will follow the steps to find the shortest path between all pairs of vertices so from all vertices from where to where what will be the shortest path it will be shown with this washes algorithm how it works so based on this given vertices we will be creating a matrix a0 of a dimension n by n where n is the number of vertices here we are having number of vertices as 4 so our graph for this graph our matrix will contains 4 by 4 sides the row and the column are indexed as i and z respectively where i and z are the vertices of the graph so from that we will be generating the information like if the edge is there we will be keeping the value whatever the weight there we will be having if it is not we will be indexing that with the infinity so each cell a of i z is a field with a distance from the ith vertex to the zth vertex if there is no path we will be keeping it as a infinity if there is a path we will be keeping the weight of that edge on that particular path so if we consider the example here there is a edge from vertex 1 to 4 having weight 5 so we will be representing here in the matrix a 1 to 4 the value 5 as there is no path from 1 to 3 it will be indicated with a value infinity similarly all other values we will be keeping showing the vertex values 1 2 3 4 2 the 1 2 3 4 if the edge is present that weight we had represented if it is not we will be keeping that as a infinity now we are having our a0 matrix showing initial path wherever there is a path the weight was there where is there is no path we will be indicated that with the infinity now based on this matrix we will be generating a1 the elements in the first column and the first row are left as they are the remaining cells are filled in the following way how we will be working c let k be the intermediate vertex in the shortest path from the source to destination in this tab k is the first vertex a of ij is filled with a of ik plus a of kj if a of ij is greater than a of ik plus a of ak uh, sorry for a of i k plus a of k j what we are doing we will be considering the intermediate node and we will be changing the distance between the vertices if a of i j is greater than a of i k plus a of k j that will be replaced with a of i k plus a of k j that is if the direct distance from the source to the destination is greater than the path through the vertex k that is intermediate element then the cell is filled with a of i k plus a of k j in this step k is the vertex 1 so we calculate the distance from source vertex to the destination vertex through this vertex k so a of 1 will be filled with a 1 to 1 0 1 to 2 3 we were having 1 to 3 m infinity 1 to 4 there is a path 5 the rest of the edges we will be filling by making use of intermediate node 1 so it will be having 2 to 1 2 2 to 2 0 2 to 3 9 2 to 4 
फोर थ्री टू वन इन्फिनिटी थ्री टू टू वन थ्री टू थ्री जीरो थ्री टू फोर एट फोर टू वन इन्फिनिटी फोर टू टू इन्फिनिटी फोर टू थ्री टू एंड फोर टू फोर जीरो कैलकुलेट द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सोर्स वर्ट टू द डेस्टिनेशन वर्ट एक्स टू दिस वर्ट एक्स के सो हियर वी विल बी एडिंग फॉर ए एफ वन टू फोर द डिरेक्ट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम वर्ट एक्स टू टू फोर इज फोर एंड द सम ऑफ डिस्टेंस ऑफ द फ्रॉम वर्ट एक्स टू टू द फोर टेक्स फोर is 7 as 4 is less than 7 we will be keeping that information with a 4 similarly a2 is created by making use of a1 the previously generated matrix the element in the second column and the second row are left as they are in this case the second vertex so we will be keeping second row and column as it is and the remaining steps are same we will be filling with the help of the next element Calculate the distance from the source vertex to the destination vertex to this vertex too. So we are having the values like this. Some of the values get changed as we were having the information like there is a path through the vertex two from two to four. So we will be including that as a four. There is a path from four to one that we will be mentioning as five, four to two as a three. So the matrix at a three will be look like. Like one to one zero, one to two three, one to three nine, one to four five, two to one two, two to two zero, two to three nine, two to four four, three to one three, three to two one, three to three zero, three to four five, four to one five, four to two three, four to three two, and four to four zero. Same way, we generate the A four matrix by considering the intermediate element. and we will be getting the shortest path like a4 showing from all pairs to all other pairs a path so the algorithm floyd washes provide the shortest path between all pair vertices so it will be also called as a all pairs algorithm thank you